Well, he's someone who served our community for more than 30 years. Now, Fire Captain Adam Goldberg is hanging up his firefighting gear and retiring, but he won't be saying goodbye completely to the job he's loved for so many years. We're all looking for our calling. Because this was a passion for me, I remember calls like they were yesterday. For Northwest Fire Captain Adam Goldberg, he's been answering calls for help over the last three decades. Things came full circle for me after some medical emergencies with my dad and truly as a young kid growing up saying, I want to do that, I want to be a fireman. Through high school and beyond, his passion of becoming a firefighter grew. In March of 86 is when I got hired part time up in the Phoenix area and eventually made it down here to attend the U of A. After that, life brought him to this very spot, Station 30 off Orange Grove Road. I w became full time here in the district, which was in 1989. At the very station we're standing at, except just an older building behind us. Now that building is more of a warehouse. In 1995, Goldberg became a captain and has won numerous awards throughout the years. But answering the everyday calls is what he remembers the most, like the time he saw the CPR training he was part of save a life. The director of that school, her son, who was three years old at the time, choked on a nickel. And one of her staff members was able to dislodge it as we arrived at the scene. That little boy's mom became a family friend. From saving lives to responding to horrific incidents, it's all part of the job. Osprey crash where 19 Marines were killed, that I'll never forget the picture in my head of what that looked like. I was the public information officer when the Gabby Giffords incident took place at the Safeway at Ina and Oracle, another event that took me basically away from my home for almost three days straight. Now, right before his retirement, Captain Goldberg had to say goodbye to retired fire chief Jeff Pichura, one of the people killed in a plane crash earlier this month and someone he worked with for 24 years. It makes me think that now my timing was really good because the world is changing and first responders are not in a position where they used to be respected and safe. The love for the job. That's what Captain Goldberg says has kept him coming back. You have to be able to put these memories and the bad calls in a place where you won't forget them, but hopefully they don't affect you negatively. To get through it all, he's relied on his family and co-workers. So I really rely a lot on my family. Uh, you have a picture of them and I titled it my reason for retirement. Just because Captain Goldberg is retiring doesn't mean he'll be completely done with firefighting. His two sons are following in his footsteps. They're young and they're hopefully going to be pretty successful and I get to be a part of the fire service not only as a retiree but as a dad of a firefighter in the future. That's going to be pretty cool. Looks like they'll continue his life's work of trying to make a difference. I'm hoping that people listen to messages. I'm hoping they think a little differently now. I hope they still remember that first responders are there to help. You know, it's been 24-7, 365 for 32 years, and Saturday morning at the end of my last shift, the, flip, the switch will flip and it'll be done, so it's going to be um, an uphill battle for me to get over that. An uphill battle he's ready to take on. Yeah, Captain Goldberg tells me his shift ends tomorrow at 8. He says he owes the community and his co-workers a debt of gratitude for being able to retire. We all hope that he does enjoy retirement.